welcome Taurus, Gemini, to your beginning of August reading. Hope you guys are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on in your energy. Okay. Gemini. If you guys like this, please like and subscribe. This energy that I'm looking for is what you are thinking and feeling. Taurus Gemini. Taurus Gemini. The Fool. Ooh. Fool coming right out. Love that. Taking the leap of faith. Having new changes, challenges. Let's see what's going on. Clarify on the Fool for us, please. This Oracle card is not only going to clarify on the Fool, but the overall entire reading. Destiny. Okay, you're taking a leap of faith for a new destiny. You're really out there looking for this destiny. <laughs> okay, so that's exactly what I, I see. It's, I have to do this. I have to make a change. I have to walk off this mountain if I want to get on the path that I want. If I want a new path, this is what has to be done. Using it with spiritual strength. This is in your present energy with the fertility, which is the imprints card for that prosperity. Using your heart, and that's your heart chakra. You have your heart is open. You are ready to go. You're giving your heart and soul to this. And that's really what this is. Look at this. It's heart and soul for prosperity. I just, yeah, really feel you're digging deep over here. And the near past, the reason you got into this area was because of power. Having the strength card come up in your past could be yesterday, a week ago, a couple months ago, however it is, however it resonates with each of you, but you're really feeling that power or wanting that power, right? <clears throat> and then your present, you have spiritual union, it could even be love or just love for what you're doing. However, we'll see how that is. Movement choices and decisions. We'll see why the love is coming up. The two of cups, it could just be for yourself. So getting straight into the power over here, this strength card. For some of you, you could be dealing with a Leo, or you could have Leo in your chart. Let's see how it works. You're gaining that strength and that power with faith. It could be faith within relationship, it could be just faith within spiritual strength itself. Um, however it is, your belief system. Um, However it is, it's very strong. Queen of Swords, this is your card. This is a Gemini card coming out. So look at this. I do believe this. Like, look at this. This is Taurus, Gemini. So like I said, are some of you Leo rising? Because <laughs> it's like Taurus, Gemini, Leo rising. I don't know. Is that completely you? Um, however it is, it's keeping this straight. It could be within the relationship within your your higher self within your belief system, your faith system, knowing that this is exactly who you want to be. You're staying calm about this, assured about this, getting deep within yourself and being loyal unto yourself, um, really understanding. You want a higher position. You want that, I don't know, you just want that, I just feel like you want that power. You understand, you're comfortable, under, and it's a comfortable understanding. It's logical and it's comfortable. I think having that power there makes you feel more comfortable because it makes you feel more in control. But however, you know, it's, you're very, very assured of what you're doing. You know, and it's, it almost makes me feel like you have, you're speaking with your higher self, really getting deep within your faith and saying, you know what? I'm confident about what is about to happen. I've had this vision, I've had this thought, I've log logically thought about it, 
and I know where I'm going to become the leader, but I have to take this leap of faith first. Everything I have is going to come into fruition. That's why you're so strong and just sitting there confident. There's nothing going to back you down off that. Look at that. For new, yeah, having the thoughts of fruitation for new beginnings. Look at that destiny. You are getting strong for this new destiny, for this new chapter in your life. Very beautiful. A lot of strength going on over here within yourself. Um, like I said, if it's a relationship with a Leo, you're very self-assured that you two are going to make it. It's a very strong relationship. Okay. Very strong relationship. So take it how it resonates. It could be with yourself or someone else's. Leo again, Queen of Wands. So if it is with a uh, person, Spirit is letting us know, it could literally be a Leo for you. But you are definitely feeling strong about this new relationship. It's not a Leo. It could be a Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries. Someone who is using their intuition. If there is no person in this, then that is you sitting over here super comfortable taking that action, using that intuition. And I'm going to say that's going to be you anyways. I'm going to say it's two in one. You know, it could be you taking that action, using that intuition with a, a fire sign. Maybe you both are doing it, right? But however it is, it's you taking that action. King of Cups, some of you might be dealing with a... <laughs> Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. It doesn't have to be, um, you know, a fire sign. It could be anybody. Um, however it is, going back to the original story here, you are taking this spiritual strength. You feel like you are on top of your emotions. You have the assurance, the self-assurance to know where you stand. And we've seen that over here in the past. The past said, this is where I built my strength to get to this new chapter. You are so perceptive within your own spiritual strength, your own relationship to self, God, whatever it is, you are not going to, I do not believe you're going to let anybody take you off that path because this is where you want to be. You're on the path to this new destiny, waiting for this new world, this new chapter to open. Oh man. Yeah. You know this is where the relief system is going to come. This is nothing but good news. What is the good news coming in? You got good news coming in. It's like the path you're on, it's got good news. Do do do. Horns blown. Good news coming in. Whatever you reaped and sowed is now coming to fruitation. Wow, she just said that though, right? Didn't she just say that with the Queen of Swords? I see it. I envision it. I know it with this, you know, that my fruitations will come to be. And here they come in. I reaped what I've sown. I put in all this work. And here comes my, my rewards. Your rewards are coming in. And you're sitting half on the fertility. There it is. Bam. Ace of coins. Yep. Oh, my gosh. You see it right now. This is the present. You're seeing this coming in at you right as we speak. The promise that you've made into yourself, that you've heard, that you've known. The luck. You feel lucky. Right? You feel so lucky. You have this cooperation. Like I said, you might even have a cooperation of, you know, fire or water over here. It could even be another Torian. You might even, you know, they might be cooperating with you and you guys are just, you know, seriously just building an, I don't know, I feel like I'm building an empire even though I don't even have, well, you do have an empire. It's, I'm sorry, you do. Okay, that's where the empire is coming in. I was going to say, you don't have an emperor and empress, but you absolutely do. So it feels like you're building an empire, whether it's a business, just getting your stuff back together, knocking out bills, whatever this strength is. You're just recognizing all the blessings that are coming in and opening the doorways to this positive new path of abundance of whether whatever your abundance is, you know, and it's like with the ace, it's like good news, you know, you're extremely close to reaching your 100% goals. You know, you're going to have better options on the horizon. Well, here's the good news again. 
horn is blown. Do you have the chance to meet with, you know, very important people for your business? Um, you know, is it just this lucky break that you're getting for the future? However it is, you are getting this beautiful Ace of Pentacle. You know? Wow. Beautiful Taurus card right there, King of Pentacles, feeling like you're prosperous, sitting, oh my gosh, sitting right there. It's like, I, I, here I am, here I am, I've got this, I've, ooh, Eight of Pentacles, I've focused on this, I've worked so hard for this, I've done everything I was supposed to do. King of Swords coming up, I've communicated this, I've thought logically about this whole situation, and everything is coming, it's just going into this beautiful harmonious um, cycle. Like everything you've planted is just completely coming around just like you imagine it to do as the Queen of Swords. No needs to worry. It's all coming in and you know it. You can see it. It gives you even more strength. You know, and it could be that now you're a professional. Right? Doors are open to my, you know, to my new job, my new business, maybe working at home, however it is, you feel way more stable. Maybe you know you have Mr. or Mrs. Wright, and maybe you're dealing with another air sign, however it is, um, you know, and you're focusing on them and you know everything's working beautiful. <clears throat> wow, very nice. You are really super on your path to your destiny over here. You took the leap of faith over here. You said, I took the chance. I took this chance and this is where I'm going. Spiritual union over here. Ten of Cups, where it wasn't so satisfactory, you feel like you can have the communications that you have now. Queen, the imprints upside down, where my heart and my prosperity wasn't. Look at what I'm doing now. Look at the, oh yes, Seven of Cups. Look at all the options I have. I just feel like at one time you're looking back in the past and you're kind of like, you know, look at what I didn't have. Kind of like nostalgic for me. You know? And it might also even be, you know, I don't have exactly 100% my Ten of Cups just yet. Hey. Right? I got my Ace of Pentacles, but maybe I'm not 100% where I need to be just yet. It's not completely 100% satisfactory just yet. I'm not 100% the imprints just yet, but I have the options and the opportunities to continue to keep moving as long as I keep cooperating with myself, with my love, whoever this person is, yourself, whatever it is, right? And moving towards there. So, you know, it could be two in one in the near future. It could be two in one. You could be looking back saying, I really had really nothing until I had this. And I still don't have exactly 100% what I want just yet, but man, am I am moving in that direction. Knight of Pentacles coming up Taurus. It's a little slow at movement, which is about normal for Taurians. Um, we know this, and usually we're okay with that. The Gemini might want it to move a little bit faster because they, you know, are a little more quick paced than we are. Um, so, you know, don't let this... Don't let the Seven of Cups become upside down into confusion of why you're not moving fast. I do not feel that so fast, uh, so far in this reading of the near future. It feels like, you know, I'm still working to my satisfaction. I'm doing way better than I was before, but I'm not 100% exactly where I want to be just yet. But look at all these great news is coming in. It has moved. It has moved. In the present right now, you can feel the energy. You know it's moved. You're making more money. Something is happening. It's just not 100% yet. Okay. Yeah. Wheel of Fortune coming out. It's just, yeah, not, it's slowly moving towards this new destiny and new path that you're really looking for. Okay, for that movement, choices and decisions. And yes, the movement is a little slow. It's okay. Clarify on the Wheel of Fortune. And then you have the Knight of Swords. Okay, so it's moving slowly towards this new path. And then it's like as the new choices and, and decisions come in, 
you know, with the Seven of Cups, of course, it's like the same card almost. Um, yes, it's going to start moving faster. It's going to take off as soon as you get exactly where that, when that wheel moves, okay, which is moving slow in the present, which is good, though, because it's actually giving you that incentive. You're seeing it move. You're like, yeah, it's, it's opening little by little. But then all of a sudden, it's going to turn, and then it's going to go, right? How do we know that? Because of the Knight of Swords. Movement, choices, decisions, moving fast, 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 fast. Now, all of a sudden. So once you get past that slow Taurian energy, yep, and then you'll get straight to your Two of Cups. This is exactly where you want it to be. That's what you're looking for. Yeah, bottom of the deck. That's what you wish and dreamed for. Ever all your wishes and dreams are coming to exactly the fruitation that you want them at. You've just worked so hard. Four of Pentacles, holding tight to this dream. Six of Cups coming on. It's a it's a past thing that you wanted to have. It's a past dream. Holding on to look at this. Holding on tight to your dreams from the past. It's all you ever wanted. But you knew it. You knew it. It's going to get there. You just, even in the near future, it's going to go slow. So even when you know it's going slow now, even though you see it coming, it's still going to go slow, probably within the next couple months or a month or so, maybe even a couple weeks. Um, but once that really starts to really turn to a, you know what I mean? It's like turning. It's just all of a sudden it's going to stop and it's going to pop. That's what it looks like to me. That's pretty much what it is. Then that movement choice decision can take off like a bad eye hates. <clears throat> yeah, opportunity. You have a huge opportunity coming in the near future. <clears throat> Ooh, big happy changes. I love that, big happy changes. And I seen that right here for the big happy changes. Um, with the Ace of Pentacles. Very, very nice. Anything else, Spirit? It's like that's about it, guys. Very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. And if this is a love relationship, it just looks like it's just going, it's, you know, you know you have Mr. and Mrs. Right. You're just waiting for that perfect timing for whatever you guys are doing. Maybe getting closer together. Religious factors. Huh. The hairpin. Some of you might have children. Ooh, that's very pretty. Express your love. What a pretty card that is. See that? How pretty is that card? She's just like kind of holding him with all this like passion. And express your love, right? And I have the honeymoon card. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is that what you guys are waiting for with the promise? Is this a, you know, is that them asking you and you've been waiting this whole time? Taking that leap of faith, like they, you know, asked me. So what it is, they asked me to marry them and I decided to take the leap of faith and then bam, here it all comes together. Oh, very beautiful. Okay, guys, that was a reading for you. Peace and love, my friends. Bye-bye.